Another interesting type of symbology you can use actually puts charts on the map to show the relationship between different variables for each area unit. So in this case, we're going to put pie charts for each county in New England on the map to show the relationship between the size of the white population and the size of the non-white population for each of these counties. So to start with, I'm going to come up to my layer and go to Properties. And then in Symbology, there's an option for Charts. And if I click on that, the first option is for pie charts. You can also do bar and column charts or stack charts, and you get a sample of what those are going to look like down here. But let's stick with pie charts for the time being. They all work pretty much the same way. So I want my charts to show the relationship between the white population, and then I've made a field down here for the non-white population. And so now I'll just click Apply, and you can see what this gives me for a default. It's a pretty busy map. It's got all these little pie charts that are hanging out. They're all sort of 3D, which I find an unideal way of looking at pie charts, especially when you're trying to compare areas, having the perspective added in there, I just don't think works particularly well. It's also got a lot of these pie charts floating away from the counties that they represent with these little leader lines, and I just find this to be a pretty busy way of symbolizing this information. Nonetheless, we can already start to pick out some relationships. Most of northern New England is very homogeneous racially, and then as you start to get into southern New England, into Massachusetts and Rhode Island and Connecticut, there's more minority population. But let's try to clean this up a little bit using the properties within this symbology. So I'll click on properties. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off display in 3D so we just get flat pie charts. I think those are a lot easier to read. And then I'm going to unclick show leader lines and we'll click OK and then I'm also going to uncheck prevent chart overlap and if I click apply again you'll see this is a bit easier to read already even though some of these charts are sort of overlapping with each other it's at least easier to see the relationship between each chart and the county that it represents. An additional thing we could do though is change the size of the chart depending on the population in each one of those counties. So I'm going to come back to the symbology and click on size here and then I'm going to vary the size using a field. So I'll select the population 2000 field. And I'm not going to normalize it because these are proportional symbols. I can deal with raw counts. But you can see that my maximum value is going to be very large. I'm just going to reduce the size of my minimum value to about 3 or 4. I'll stick with 4. And then I'll hit Apply again. So this really helps us visualize the difference in population between a place like northern Vermont and then coastal Massachusetts. And you can see that the places where there are a lot more people also have a much more diverse population. So places like Boston, down here along the coast of Connecticut, have a fairly large slice of that pie that's symbolizing non-white populations, whereas up here in Vermont, where you have much smaller circles, there's a relatively more homogeneous population. Now you still do have a lot of circle overlap and it's a little bit difficult to read the symbols for specific counties. You could bring this map into Illustrator and then rotate the symbols so that the slices that were demonstrating the population that was non-white were more visible for each county, or you could even change the transparency and so forth. But ARC is a good place to start in terms of actually constructing those pie charts and then varying their size based on some other variable.